it's Lindy Day here. I'm gonna teach you Friday I'm in Love by The Cure. If you are a beginner guitar player, this is the perfect song for you. Because we have a mix of picking and strumming. There's a little bar chord we're gonna talk about later. This is like the perfect song for beginners to hit, especially if you wanna start getting to that next level. So let's check out this little intro. It goes like this. That little guy right there. This is based around a D chord. So I actually want you to build me, boom, a D chord. Go ahead, grab that D chord. Once it has been built, I want you to take your pointer finger and your middle finger, lift those bad boys up off the guitar. You will see why in just a minute. The first three notes of this picking pattern are open G string, B string on the third fret with your ring finger, and then open E string. If you have a pick, you're doing all downstrokes. If you're like me and you're playing with your fingers today, G string, B string, and then E string. Each finger gets one string. Next two notes is a two on the E string. And then you lift your middle finger back up and you play an open E string. This is the part that gets people. If you're not that good at finger picking, this little motion right here is gonna trip you up. And that's okay. I'm gonna elaborate on that in just one second. Let's play these first five notes together super slow. Here we go. So if you've never really done a lot of picking, what may be happening right now is you'll find it's hard to isolate this movement on your middle finger. Your, your brain will say, put my middle finger down and like other fingers will move. Maybe you'll put it down and you'll miss the string. That's very common too. If you've never really finger picked before, it is kind of hard to isolate one finger and lift it back up and move it all around and put it down when you need it. It's a hard thing to do. <laughs> I'm gonna say it. If you practice, you will get better at it. That's really the only way to fix that. So let's go ahead and play this nice and slow, then we'll add the last two notes. Next two notes are B string on the third fret, which we're already holding down, back up to the E string. So let's play all seven notes, nice and slow. Once that has been accomplished, you put these two fingers down on the second fret of the G and second fret of the A, of the E, which makes a D chord. And once you've made your D chord, you strum it. So it's really eight notes all together. You're playing these seven individual notes and at the end, boom, you strum your D chord. Let's do that, then we'll talk a little bit about <laughs> what's up. So here we go. Here's all the notes and the strum. Okay, if you've never really done picking and strumming together, you'll find what'll happen is when you're done picking, your brain actually needs a second or two to kind of flip tracks and go over into strumming mode. And that's okay. Um, that's totally fine. I do see a lot of beginners kind of, like they need to take a beat to switch their brains over. And that's okay. I'm at the point now where I can flip immediately from strumming to picking. So, so you're at where you're at. I just want you to be aware that to become an intermediate guitarist, you do have to get these two skills kind of intermeshed. Is that a word? Intermeshed? Sure. Intermeshed together. This is the perfect song to practice that. Start slow. You'll build it up to speed because you're going to practice. Lots and lots. Okay. So the intro is good to go. Let's talk about the verse. I'm going to give you the chords then we'll do strum pattern. Here's the chordy chords. We have a D, then a G. Back to D, and an A. That's the first half of the verse. Second half of the verse is oddly similar, except we start on a B minor. <laughs> then we hit a G, then a D, then an A. So you can see the similarity. That B minor, I know, like half of you already clicked away. If you haven't clicked away yet, stick with me. I got some tips for you. So let's hit the strum pattern, then we'll come to this B minor chord. Here's a strum pattern. Down, 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 up. Switch. Down, 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 up. Down, 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 up. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. When you get to that A in the last two lines, 
This drum pattern's a little different. It's a quarter note. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. It's a quarter note, then a whole bunch of eighth notes. So the first strum is a little longer than the rest of the strums. So one more time, real quick. That A is down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. It's kind of weird, but you'll get the hang of it. Actually, you get the hang of it pretty quick, because everybody does. So aside from that A chord, everything else is just down, 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 up. Um, I also put a little stop in there. You don't have to do that. That's an advanced thing. If you feel like being excellent today, you can put a little stop in there. Um, I do this when I'm not playing with a bass player or a drummer, because when you're playing acoustically, obviously you're usually not playing with a bass player or a drummer. And technically what's supposed to happen is this hand is the rhythm player, and this hand is kind of the pitches and the notes player. So when I add that little stop in there, I'm kind of mimicking a kick drum. This is like an advanced thing, so I'm not going to go too much into depth on that. Boom. I'm just adding a little rhythm in there for spice. You don't have to do that, just an option for you to try out. So that is all of the verses. They go like that. Down, 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 up, switch, down. minor. Hey oh, it's time. Today. It's time today. Let's do this. Bar chords. I've done a whole video on bar chords. I'm gonna link it. I'm gonna put it below in case you're on mobile and you can't see the little, what are they called? Little things? I don't have words today. Um, you do have to learn your bar chords if you want to be an intermediate player. Bar chords take a long time to learn, but once you have them, it's like riding a bike. You have them forever. So it's worth it to learn them. You haven't clicked away yet, so I know you are a person of excellence. So here's the deal. I thought long and hard if I was going to give you an easy out or not, and I decided I am. Here's the reason why. I'm going to give you a cheat B minor chord, and I'm not really proud about that. But here's why. A lot of students, I throw this song at them, and the bar chord scares them away, and they don't want to play this song anymore, and then they don't practice. And then I ask them, hey, have you practiced that, um, that song? And they're like, no, I didn't, because the B minor scares them. So sometimes I give people this kind of substitute chord so they can play the song, but in tandem I also expect them to work on bar chords. So if you don't have bar chords yet, that's okay. You're going to work on bar chords in the background while you use this substitute chord. The substitute chord is not intended for you to skimp out on learning bar chords. We've made that clear, so let's go ahead and learn what this is. Here's the substitute chord. If you play ukulele, you're going to be like, hey, E minor. It's pretty much what that is. Pointer finger, second fret of the E. Middle finger, third fret of the B. Ring finger, fourth fret of the E. You can play the open D string. Nah, don't play the A or the E string, I'll leave those out. And because it's really important, I am gonna say it again. This chord is not intended for you to avoid learning bar chords. This is just so you can play the song while you're practicing bar chords in the meantime. Have I said this enough? Probably not. I'll say it again at the end of the video. So if you, if you can't handle the B minor yet, that's okay. Do this guy for now, and eventually we'll get that going, but <laughs> here's what the chorus sounds like. Um, this is the part that goes Saturday, you wait, Sunday, always, I don't have the lyrics in front of me. It starts on a G. So the strum pattern's the same, down, 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 up, it's G to A. B minor's back. Back to G. Last two little lines. What is it? Friday never hesitates is uh, D to A. When we hit the A in the chorus, more than welcome to do that little different strummy strum there. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, with that first strum being a little longer than the rest of them. Okay, then we return to the verses. These bounce back and forth, verse and chorus and verse and chorus. Then we hit the bridge. I do not have the lyrics in front of me. I have no idea what the lyrics are for the bridge. It starts on the line, dressed up to the eye, such a pretty surprise. I don't know the words. Sorry, I just play guitar. So the bridge is just four chords long. It's a B minor. Oops, to a D, then to an A. 
those four chords happen four times. Here's the fun part. I switched the strum pattern to quarter notes here. So the first two lines, I just go. And what I've done, you don't have to put that little down up down thing I do in between all the chords. Um, but what I do is I hit each of these just four times. So it's B minor, one, two, three, four. C chord, one, two, three, four. D, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Sometimes I do eighth notes on the A, sometimes I don't. Depends what mood I'm in. Um, you heard me do the little like extra in betweeny notes. You can do those if you want to. As you're, if you can't switch your chords very quickly, probably best to avoid that for now. sometimes in this part. Mm, mm, mm. So for the last two lines of the bridge, I switch it up to eighth notes because I'm trying to push the song into that last verse chorus. Forget where we go into next. But it's fun to make those last two lines like roll them out. So here's what's up. I do just four strums, four, four strums, on the chords for the first two lines. One, two, three, four. 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 Let's pretend we just hit the third line. It goes like this. So that's what you're gonna do and you're not gonna miss the C chord like I just did. <laughs> so all that is is now you're strumming eight times instead of four times. And again, I do that to push the song forward. You don't have to, but if you can, try it out. Again, it's a rhythm thing. Remember, this hand is rhythm. This hand is notes and stuff. Try it out, see what works. And then we go into, I believe it's the verse again. I'm blanking right now. I don't have the lyrics in front of me. Cool, so that's base, that is the whole song. Um, the verse, the chorus, the bridge, we did the strum pattern and we did the intro. Give this song a shot. Try that B minor chord out. If bar chords are not your deal, check out my video on bar chords. They do take a while to learn. You can't do this. I will say it again because I promised you I would say it again. This B minor substitute thing is just for now until you learn how to confidently play bar chords. Once you learn how to confidently play bar chords, you're not going to play that chord anymore. So you're using this to help your confidence get up while you play this song while you're learning really difficult things on the side. Right? Right. Awesome. Okay guys, I'll see you later. Bye!